Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cryptolark here. Today we're talking about Skycoin, third generation cryptocurrency, even though it's a very old project, actually. Now, Skycoin won our community coin vote of the week, 2,693 votes to modem 648. I am not counting tap project because the community coin is designed to give light to existing projects which need some more attention, not to promote ICOs. Now, before we get into all the fun stuff that Skycoin does, we have to give a big shout out to everyone who has been hitting that like button. And of course, everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. Massive welcome to all the new subscribers and a big thank you to all of the old subscribers. You guys are the ones who make this community possible. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the button just down there to stay up to date with all of the latest, hottest coins and everything going on in the crypto space. And of course, this is not professional financial advice. This is just a guy talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Let's check it out. Skycoin is an incredibly ambitious project. They are seeking to do so many things. It could be perhaps a worry. Are they trying to do too much? Well, they've been in pr production for a long time. They've been developing this forever. So I think they've got it together. We're going to be going through all the different features of Skycoin and seeing what they could do. But I can tell you one thing. Their website could use a nice little revamp to make it a little more user-friendly. That being said, let's check out what they've got here. So CX is their programming language. You might compare this to, for example, Ethereum's Solidity. CXO is focused on file storage. Think of, for example, Sia coin, same competing space. Skywire, decentralized internet, substratum, nexus, made safe. Vizcrypt, decentralized computing. We might think of, for example, Golem. Cryptosphere VPN, virtual private networks are all the rage right now. We might throw Mysterium out there to think about that. Sky Messenger, classic messaging app, mobile wallet. That's awesome. We all love mobile wallets. And BBS is a social network that they're trying to build on top of the Sky network as well. That might be compared to, for example, something like Steemit. Social networks on the blockchain. So that's a lot of stuff. Obviously, this is the one-stop shop. I've given you a lot of other projects which use similar ideas. Skycoin's putting it all into one. All your crypto needs in one place. Not a bad idea. Now, you can come over here. There are a few different white papers actually to read through. They're very technical, but if you are a technical nerd, definitely come and check these out. Now, the Sky Miner is going to be their focus of how they're going to actually make the infrastructure needed for the next internet. This is very interesting. They're actually looking to fund this out of the growth of their project. They want to subsidize these Skywire miners in order to actually set up the next internet. It's a very ambitious project in so many ways. Now, they actually have a different kind of consensus algorithm as well. Their consensus algorithm is not proof of work, nor is it proof of stake. It's what they like to call the web of trust. So essentially, trusted nodes will run the network and they will be rewarded with Sky over time. Of course, you will also be rewarded with Sky, for example, by running a Skywire miner, quote unquote, at your home, or also for running the virtual private network. You will also be rewarded in Skycoin for running any of those different projects. Now, Skycoin is immune to a 51% attack. It's fast. It's not so original in the crypto space, but it's fast. Zero fees. Now, when I first heard zero fees, I thought, well, wait a second. That sounds problematic. This 
is very open to spam, they've actually implemented something called coin hours. Basically, you can only send your coins, for example, once an hour. So there's actually a time period on that. So that actually prevents the spamming of the network that you might have with a zero fee coin without some kind of alternative protocol set into place. They also have a privacy feature. This makes it almost as secure as a Tor, for example. So this is really great. So many different features brought into play here. Now, I think it's worth spending a minute talking a little bit about how they're actually planning on distributing the coins, because currently we only have about five and a half million or so coins out out of a hundred million possible over time. Their commitment, they say, is to making Skycoin a resource for the many, not the few. It's a grand vision. I certainly like it. The distribution policy of that is slow over time, small initial distribution, slow growth over the years, maximum distribution of 5% of the coins per year spread out over at least 14 years. Distribution from 10 to 30 percent will be through node incentives. That is very interesting. I like the way they're planning on doing it. I like the slow release. Obviously, there are similarities here to mining or to proof of stake, but it's a bit different the way they've set up their model. Very interesting. Now, the team. It's a small team, about 15 people or so, 16 people, something like that. You can come and check out who they are here. Michael Turpin. Uh, Synth is one of the lead architects, uh, project figurehead of this. He's done a few interviews. You can actually search for some of those and check out Synth actually talking about these different projects. So that's pretty cool. Different features of Skycoin. Now, the roadmap is actually a very interesting read as well because it goes all the way back to 2012. Research begins on a replacement for the proof of work consensus. That's where the whole idea started out at. And you follow the roadmap along and you just realize how much this project has grown over the years with different bits being added on continuing oh that's the best of that we're going to take that that's the best of that we're going to take that getting all the best ideas from around the crypto space in one place very interesting now the only thing that we do have coming up two things we have coming up in the near future listing skycoin on more exchanges skywire minor release and also actually implement Exchange Federation Protocol for Decentralized Exchange Integration. Interesting stuff. So they have not stopped developing, they are continuing to develop, and I am sure will continue to add in the best features of developing cryptocurrencies as they come on board. Certainly they seem to have brought in all the best so far. I'm sure they will continue to do that exact thing. Now the wallet um, does support uh, Skycoin and Bitcoin, and of course you do have the mobile version of that as well. Currently, almost 6 million in circulating supply actually, a lot of coins still to be issued, only a $58 million market cap currently. The volume has been quite low on this. Now dollar-wise, we're at a new all-time high right now. Not compared to Satoshi, we have seen much higher Satoshi values, but of course, because of the very high value of Bitcoin at the moment, we are seeing a dollar high, but not a Satoshi high currently. The one thing that may be holding Skycoin back from really breaking out, which makes it an interesting time to be talking about this coin, even though we have seen a real surge, a real surge in the past couple of days, only a week ago, this was around $4. Now we're up to almost $9. It's only available on Cryptopia. I know there's a lot of people who are not fans of Cryptopia. 
But the reality is, as soon as this starts listing on other exchanges, just like what happened with, for example, Neblio, this is going to pop even more than it's popping already. This is definitely one to keep your eyes on. It's a really interesting project. They seem to be delivering on everything they say they're going to deliver on. It will be interesting moving forward just to see how this project develops. I like the ambitiousness of it. I like that they're a one-stop shop for all of these really exciting features. Very cool stuff. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time, guys.